Hello there. Uh, today I just want to go over extremely very, 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 very basic HTML coding. Um, it's HTML is probably one of the easiest codes to learn. Um, it just takes it takes the least amount of time. Um, and once you recognize HTML, once you be able to recognize CSS, uh, which is uh, something that is complementary to HTML. Um, which really isn't in a, it's a code, it's a different code, but it's, it's just very, once you know HTML, it's a, it's a piece of cake to learn. And, uh, <clears throat> so I'm just going to go over basic HTML. And once you have these two down, HTML and CSS, uh, the whole goal here is to be able to, uh, like tweak, uh, WordPress themes and, uh, certain websites to make them look how we want them to look. Uh, to be able to uh, advertise online and be able to tweak things. I mean, uh, so I'm just going to jump right into it. So, enough with the whole why we, you know, you should learn HTML. And let's just get right into it. You obviously want to learn because you're watching this video, so I don't have to convince you. Okay, so, um, HTML is a code that is read by your internet browser that enables it and, and shows it reads the code and it shows uh, or um, I'm going to edit this out alright so I'm just going to start typing HTML pretty much everything in HTML is enclosed in these brackets here now it's red because I'm in TextMate and when something doesn't compute correctly, uh, HTML-wise, um, it highlights it in red. Uh, so there are programs out there uh, that help you in writing HTML. So when you do make a mistake, it corrects it for you or it um, highlights it in red here so you can see w uh, where you messed up. So. Uh, Every HTML document, no matter what it is, has to open up with the HTML tag and close with an HTML tag. Another thing in HTML is whenever you open something, you have to close it. Um, that's another rule in HTML that you need to learn. Uh, whenever you open I'm just going to do an h2 tag. You have to then close the h2 tag and everything that's inside of it it has the uh the is is rendered according to what tag it's in. If you had something like this, it would not re be read correctly. It would it would it would probably give you an error or just read this with and ignore this. Um and this wouldn't work either that would not work because that is saying that now you're opening another h2 tag without even closing this one so you when you open a tag it's just the letters and when you close a tag it um, you have to put a backslash before you close signifying that it is being closed so I'm going to erase this and um, so here we have the HTML and most websites they have a header and then a body and then a footer in the header, you have your logo, your pages, maybe an advertisement, uh, something like that. And and also in the code is where, in the header, where all the technical things go on, where it, it like, uh, y y this is where you put your CSS and your JavaScript. Everything dynamic in your website, most dynamic things, it happens in the header. And so before you even see anything load on your page, in the background, it's loading everything that it needs to make your website work so that you you know uh, without getting too sp uh, specific and complex here I'm trying to break these things down for you guys so you understand so the header um, that's where your pages go that's where your logo goes and so on and so forth and then the body is where all the content goes all your blog posts or all your products or uh, the main parts of your website um, and so you want to try and put it all on the body and then uh, using CSS you can change just the stuff in the body 
uh, there's some really cool things out there. There's, uh, uh, I'm, you know what, I'm not even going to get into other languages right now. So we're just going to stick to HTML. So you have the body tag. You want to open it, and then you want to close it. And then finally, the footer. Footer. And you want to close the footer. So those are the things you want to start with. Another thing is you want to kind of be typing in some sort of systematic organizational way because before long uh, this stuff starts getting really long page after page after page and without it being in some sort of readable organizable way um, it's gonna get really hard to find things that you need to find and change things they need to change uh, later on when you want to edit things so typing in a very systematic and cohesive way for yourself is a, a great way to be able to go back in and easily get to where you need to get to uh, so it saves time and it's also a great practice to get into um, so I think I'll stop there today uh, maybe I'll just save this document and say something about that so I'll put in uh, uh, this is my website just so now I'm gonna save this right to the desktop and I'm gonna say you know uh, whenever you save an HTML document the the uh, it has to be the site dot HTML um, if you don't put that HTML, it's not going to work correctly. Uh, any HTML site has to be, end with a .html, just like any Word document has to end in .doc or .txt or whatever. A PDF has to end in .pdf, otherwise it's not going to read as a PDF. So HTML has to be .html. So I'm going to save this to my desktop, and then I'm going to go over, and here it is. I'm going to open it up, and there it is. This is my website. So I guess I'll end there today. And then if uh, on any website and pretty much any browser, when you right click, uh, you have a couple options here. Um, if you view the source, uh, which is it should be the same in any browser, when you right click, it says view source. You view the source and voila, this is what is being read by Safari when I open it up that produces this. So that's that, I guess. Um, stay tuned for the next basic bare bones HTML tutorial. Thanks for listening, guys. Have a great day.